Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are super duper, uber duper, uber duper, uber duper excited. Yeah. We're so excited. We're reacting to Gyra. And if you don't know what Gyra is, well, where have you been? Where have you been? Because go to church. Go to church. <laughs> wow, we're gonna do that again. We are just huge fans of Maverick oh my goodness. City. Um, we're so excited. We have led this a couple times. You know, we lead worship at a church. We yes. teach voice. We've studied voice for years. And um, so we like to kind of break down what these really amazing vocalists are doing so that we can get better at singing. And, yeah. and hopefully you can too. Um, we, while we are worship leaders, we kind of try to focus on the things that we know very well, which is singing and the voice. Absolutely. Not as much. Um, you know, speaking to how to lead worship that much better. So, yeah. but we like to talk about singing and how it serves worship leading. Yes. Um, so we're just so excited to dive in Absolutely. here. Such amazing singing. And just this song too mm. is such a, is such a powerful piece. Totally. I have legitimately had to pull over my car because the worship and the Holy Spirit was too strong. Well, and I think this song is also very difficult. And so oh, there's yeah. like, there's so much about this song that is like- Challenging. Challenging. And and because it is so powerful, but also so technically difficult, I think it's a really good example for us to break down with you guys what we hear Naomi Rain doing, Chandler Moore doing, all of these really talented vocalists and singers, how they're using those things to lead worship better. So yeah. let's get started. Never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. It doesn't take a trophy to make you cry. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Ooh. I know, I'm so sorry. We're going to stop it. Let's talk about his voice. I'm We've talked about it before, on. but. I just. I also just love that whole first line. That line is so good. Makes me just so happy. Weep. So yeah. yeah. And like and like with joy. Yeah. Um Chandler's voice. Okay. I have I have a love love, but also <laughs> concern. Confuse. Confused concern with his voice a little bit. It's it's really stopped up. Absolutely. Little, you know, it's 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 right here. And you know, part of me always wonders like I've, I've been a person who has struggled with their vocal health because of how mm. I sing. How I sing has literally stopped me from singing when I, you know, I lost my voice for, I think, probably six weeks in mm -hmm. college. And at the time I was the lead in a musical. I was singing in two choirs. I had a recital yeah. coming up. I had a lot of responsibilities mm. that I needed to show up for vocally. And so from that experience, I've really focused a lot on vocal health mm. and when i hear him i always wonder like how 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 do you sing a whole worship night when you sing a whole worship night is your voice just shot right or like can you even you know yeah how many songs until you just can't do it anymore right. um and so that's something that i always wonder yeah. with him but he also we we talk about two things aaron val a lot on this channel um his vowels are so good absolutely that I think he can, he has that bite. He has that really, really wonderful resonance. Mm -hmm. And so all of, you know, the things that I'm worried about aren't really slowing him down. Absolutely. I'm just wondering how, you know, fatigue, vocally fatigued mm -hmm. he gets, uh, you know, at the end of the day. Ch Chandler, if you ever if you want to come on to the show, it, we'd love to talk well, to you. Well, and I can show you an example of what I, I'm hearing and what we're hearing that makes us really like go, whoa, how are you doing this, man? Because he has some really, emotive and kind of like I'm gonna call it crusty he's mm -hmm. got some crusty singing that really obviously adds to the emotion of what what we're singing and oh. and that that has so much to it but I also like you said I have the same concern of from a very technical and anatomical perspective yeah. how does that serve you in the grand scheme of your voice right and so it's objectively beautiful singing. exactly like, right we're sounds, not talking about that it sounds beautiful we're not talking about something sounding good or not. right we're just talking about vocal health absolutely and i am right now wasn't holding you up so there's nothing i can do to let you down it doesn't take a trophy 
So, to make you proud, he has like a, ah, ah, a little On bit. release? Like right before, to make you proud. It's kind of hard yeah. to, to recreate, but there, to me, what I'm hearing is like a little bit of a pinch. It's kind of like a, ah, like yeah. a, Let me listen. it's my crusty. Make you proud. Like I really can't do it. Yeah. And it's, I think it's also part of how he sings with his like, his nasal cavity like that's another reason why i feel like he can do what he is doing because he still has that like high nasal resonance mm. with his vowels yeah. that um although his voice is a little bit lower mm -hmm. and like darker kind of it he's still singing higher than you think he is oh yeah you know what i mean oh yeah i think it's just the timbre of his voice really kind of messes with your ear a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't make it, it doesn't seem like it's very high. It doesn't seem like it, yeah. Until you try to sing it. Right, right. and then you're yeah, like, what the heck are you doing? What the heck? So, yeah. I don't want to spend too much time on that, but I wanted to point that out a little bit. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Oh. Mm. Going through a storm, but I won't go down. I hear your voice. Like literally opposite, like the ex like as opposite of a voice as you could have. Naomi, dear, dear Naomi, please talk to us. Please be our about besties. How you do <laughs> these things how that you, you do? do. <laughs> it is just, I I mm. um I'm sorry to say that I only discovered Naomi for the first time with Jaira. Yes. Um, and it just I'm astounded. It's and it's not just how she sings and it's really it, it looks effortless yes it's so full and so um you know i don't like to use the word placement because that means mm. like you're trying to you're Put putting something. it somewhere it's just it's just where it's supposed oh, absolutely. to be all the time yeah and it's uh it's really well supported mm -hmm. um but one of my favorite things above all of that not above all of that but besides <laughs> all of those mm -hmm. really wonderful um vocal um like mechanisms that yeah. are working so well together. Her no choice. Oh my gosh. With her runs are yeah. just are just so good. And I've right. said this in another video, but it's like it's something that makes you go, ooh. Mm -hmm. And it's not already as soon as she starts making uh noise, you go, ooh. ooh. That's as soon really as she makes good. noise. Yeah. And it's just that ah, it's, yeah. it's 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 here and it's huge, but Absolutely. she's not like pushing and no. making it happen. It's just huge. It's just, it's huge. just already her, her voice is already filling the room. Yeah. And it's it's what we we talk about this a lot. Efficiency. It's so and that's efficient. that nasal resonance. Um that really nice forward vowel. Yeah. And just getting out of your own voice's way. Yep. You can tell she's not grabbing on. She's just giving she's, it air. Yeah. And uh speaking it out. Totally. I want to point out if you are a worship leader and you have sung this song, this is a very vulnerable like entrance mm -hmm. because it's high, right? Like listen to the beginning. Going through a storm, but I won't go down. That's not low. Going through a storm. Most people, most females, that's pretty high. Like it's in a nice part of our voice. And like for me, that's kind of like where I speak a little bit, but it's also just, it's vulnerable. Going through a storm. And what she does so nicely is she just lets go. She mm -hmm. doesn't like going through it like she doesn't pull she get, up yeah. She, yeah she doesn't get yeah. to it she's just going through a storm she's literally talking right yeah. and it's it doesn't break the yeah. energy of of the of the song absolutely and especially at such a high yes kind of what could be a really high dynamic point for just where your voice is exactly it's hard to to match the energy there. yeah mm -hmm. and and keep that like it is like spoken word. That's what Chandler did so well in that first verse is he sounds like he's talking. Yeah. And I think that's another reason why we really do appreciate what he's doing, even though it kind of, it like um, confuses us a yeah, little bit. Even but even though we have questions. Even though we have questions, yeah. but I, there's so many things that are very evident in what he is mm -hmm. doing like well, technically. Mm -hmm. And so then when you hear Naomi come in, it's just, I don't know, it's alarming in the best ways. Like you go, like immediately you perk up and you're like, yeah. whoa, whoa, like you're speaking to me. Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, you've got something to say. It's mm -hmm. really, really cool. Yeah. I hear your voice carried in the rhythm of the wind to call me out. You would cross an ocean, so I wouldn't drown. You've never been closer than you are. 
There's so many things in there. I know, I know. But first thing I want to say is if you want to have really nice, beautiful harmonies like mm. that, you have to sing the same vowel. Yeah. You across an ocean, shun, ocean, not ocean. Mm -hmm. And one of them isn't saying ocean and the other one's saying ocean. ocean. They're both saying ocean. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if maybe we can try that Let's again. do it, yeah. I'm gonna sing ocean. Okay. And you sing ocean. ocean. Okay. You would cross an ocean. Versus? You would cross an ocean. Right? It's it's immediately locks in so much easier yeah. if you're singing the same vowel the whole time. Also, I think moving on from that line, like drown, they're still singing together. And he has to like pull up some, like he has to go kind of high. So, so, so I wouldn't drown. I think I'm right. Yeah. So both of them are singing at like the topper, like the higher end of their range, right? Mm. And they have to, I'm going to say modify their vowel for that purpose and then blend. Yeah. Like there are so many things going on at once that I think is, I'm not sure that they're like having a meeting about this. No. They're just so skilled. They're also listening to each other. Yeah. That's literally all that you need to do. You don't have to have a conversation about this. You don't what have to be like, I'm going to sing using? this vowel. I'm going to sing this one. At certain yeah. points you do, you know, like when you're beginning, you if you've never to. sung with this person before, um, if you're not used to blending, sure. you do have to have a conversation. But I don't think that's what they're doing. I think yeah. they're used to listening to each mm -hmm. other and to the other vocalists around them. And it's so evident because it just sounds like one voice yeah. like it sounds so cohesive and if you're leading something to help your the people that are harmonizing with you is just be consistent absolutely so if you pick ocean sweet mm -hmm. sing ocean every yeah. time because you know if they're if 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 they're doing what we you know try to do absolutely which is listen yeah i can match you absolutely you know, next time yeah i can match you you know i might not get it the first time or i'll, I'll try mm -hmm. to get it the first time but like i'll for sure if that's what you do every single time exactly i'll be there yeah. but if you do it ocean this time ocean and the yeah run through and then ocean mm -hmm. again at yeah. uh on sunday right and, you know at the 9 a.m service it's hard for me to um to match with absolutely you. it's not gonna be as clean yeah listening is so important yeah. though and they definitely do it Let's listen to this line and then keep going. You would cross an ocean, so I wouldn't try. You've never been closer than you are right now. You are a driver. You are in love. We keep, we're going to stop a billion times. This is going to be the longest um, video in the world, but get Chandler. ready. You, you are enough. He really, he really just throws his air into it, mm -hmm. and it's such a good way. It's like kind of the one of the only ways you can really approach that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going, you are enough, and it's yeah. really, you know. But if you go, you are enough. Yeah. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. try Hugh. You're Hugh throwing are it. It's enough. a dart. Yeah, exactly. Hugh. Yeah. You know, you get more air before that happens and you'll get right up to that pitch mm -hmm. you are enough and what start it, with your air well and what's so cool is you can barely tell who's singing the melody because they switch they start to switch and they sing it at the same time mm -hmm. at some point too but like they're both singing that like line coming from different like she's a female vocalist with a higher range he's a male vocalist so they have different instruments and they sound almost the same right yeah. they're approaching singing in a very similar way that i think is just it's so evident because it just sounds so clean and yeah. tight you know i think um also with in ears we can really get into our own world right that's true and it's easy not to listen to each other mm. And then you just hope that, you know, the sound guy is going to make it all sound really good. But you lose a lot of that, you know, togetherness, yeah. of, you know, how you sing and how you're kind of shaping your tone. Yeah. You know, especially when you're co-leading something. Co oh, my you gosh. Know? And yes. it's really funny. You can probably tell we've uh, obviously watched this before. Uh, once or twice. Um, but you also, you can watch other people lead it. And it's not to say that they're not doing it as no. well or any of that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of these instinctual or just just little um details that get lost mm. and i think that when you um when you take a group of of people who have played together a lot mm -hmm. and and do this together a lot and also just have that kind of mindset of really mm. being in tune with one another mm -hmm. um that's when you can really give your best absolutely 
Yeah. And I think that's, we talk about this a ton on the channel, but like the difference between good and great, right? Like this is obviously like next level. This is great. And all of the differences that make them there, make them what they are, are so like small, but so important. Yeah. And they make a huge difference. Those small details mm -hmm. are what, what makes the difference between, oh, that was good. And oh my gosh, oh, I'm my... a puddle on the floor. 100%. It yes. Which is our goal here, 100%. right? <laughs> You are enough. And I will be content even in this in every circumstance. You are child. You are you are enough. Never enough. Always enough. Don't let it up. Forever enough. Always enough. I don't want to forget how I feel right now on the mountain top. I can see so clear what is all around. So stay by my side when the sun goes. Down. Mm. So this is what we mean about vowels. When the sun goes down, down, or how do I say down? Down, down, down. down. Yeah. yeah. Versus down. Down, yeah. Sun goes down, down. Yeah. Not down. Right. And it's it, it's like, you know, you're, you don't need to open your mouth super wide. You right. don't need to, to push it so hard. You don't need to chew on these vowels. You just need to say down down keep yeah. it forward keep it front yeah and it's gonna just cut through and sound so full and powerful yeah it's about efficiency not working not giving it more not right. working harder it's about you know getting more out of what you're already doing mm -hmm. well and i think that you can hear too for both of them they have small little like ad libs that have become so much of the song like oh, yeah. when you hear people do this song you hear a lot of these things that were just ad libs right because i'm not that crazy, right i'm not man. making I'm it up gonna, i'm just gonna <laughs> sing what he's saying because he, he already knocked it out of the park. absolutely but i think what's cool though is when you hear that you can hear that they're always singing beautifully like mm. even if it's an ad lib even if it's a some a spontaneous moment that isn't in the music that isn't something that maybe was practiced like you know to the t they're always singing beautifully and i think that comes from so much experience it comes from doing this together it yeah. comes from knowing your instrument and knowing how to use it because yes the, this is worship leading and yes there's a, a bigger thing happening but i think in order to show up to serve that bigger thing you have to be a master of your instrument which is what you're bringing to the table mm -hmm. right and that is so clearly what they are like they are masters of their instruments um not to mention he's playing keys and singing oh which gosh. is playing another he's like like good good it's so hard like, it's real hard like real good real hard but, yeah real yeah. good real hard um yeah let's keep going what do you think absolutely Gotta watch it. We don't need to watch it. We'll keep going because she's gonna keep singing. Sing it again. Yeah. Pay attention to mm. her breath. Mm -hmm. So you know, I could make a whole huge list, and I might someday. I of, think we should of all the things that I think she's doing so well. But um, one one way thing that sticks out to me in that specific phrase mm -hmm. is just what I said: phrasing. So watch her breath. Mm -hmm. 
And every moment her air is moving yes. forward. I'm already loved. That's yeah. when the air stops. The air, the air stops and is cut off yes. when it ends. I'm already chosen. That's you know, like mm-hmm. you have to get all the way. But so many times you hear, I'm already loved. Exactly. I'm already chosen. Which is, Which is not that it sounds bad, right. but it has it doesn't have that energy oh. and that life. Yeah. That that just sending you you, life. you are moving it forward the entire time. Yeah. And it starts with your air. I yeah. think that's just the quick the quick fix that I have found is if you, you know, are just imagining that your air is going all the way mm-hmm. to the end of the phrase every single time, that you're driving it to the end of the phrase. It's not about you pushing more. No. It's that you're just sending air. You're mm-hmm. deliberately moving forward to the end of it. And you're not stopping until the end. The end. Yeah. You well, take, a, take a breath. And I think to piggyback off of that, the thing that we also see her doing is she's what we call renewing the vowel. Mm -hmm. She is staying on that vowel, that entire word. Because that whole bridge has lots of like long stretched out words. I'm already loved. It's like loved. You're just singing one vowel. And she stays on that vowel with her air. I'm already loved. Rather than than people going love. I'm already loved. Exactly. You know where it's it's just uh, it's uh the whole time. Right. And then right at the end, she goes. Vd. And like chosen. I'm already chosen. Like there's two and... vowels there, but it's still just like it can get so sloppy if you're not thinking about it. Yeah. If you don't make these choices. And these are all things you do when you're learning the song. These are all things you do when you're, you know, preparing. Yeah. And again, I don't think this is something that she's actively thinking about right now. I think this is just what happens when you practice singing right like well well, let me ask you this do you actively think about staying on specific vowels yes i do well i (laughs) this is something so we had the same voice teacher in college Mm -hmm. and this was something he talked about a lot was renewing Mm -hmm. the vowel and that was just about like being intentional with your vowels and also Mm -hmm. just singing the same vowel Vowel. you're not chewing on the vowel right or like changing vowels Uh, right you know it's like you you pick one or the other and you and you kind of go with that I would say that I don't do that anymore. Mm. I just, that's just how I sing now. Right. I don't have to think about it as much anymore because Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of just ingrained in me at this point. See, and I think that the reason why I'm still thinking about it is because I, we came from a classical background and I think that, you know, when you're doing vocal gymnastics, when you, which is what you do essentially in (laughs) classical music, exactly. There were so many things, you know, that, that you had to focus on and all that stuff going on. Now, when I'm singing contemporary music or worship music, I feel like a lot of times, those are the two things I'm thinking of is my air and my vowel. And I really do feel like I actively think of those things when I find myself losing it a little bit or, or, or needing to focus on something because that's, you know, I want to be aware and awake and present while I'm singing. Well, if there's a difficult yeah. passage, I'm definitely there. Yeah. I'm definitely there. But like, you know, uh, uh, what do we, you are, you are. But if I, if I, you know, when I was learning that, right. I was definitely going, okay, here it is. Right. I got to, you know, I'm already kind of set and ready to go. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not adjusting my vowel after I've already started singing. Yeah. So like, you know, I guess you, you said that when you're learning it. Yeah. But like, you know, I would say, when, you're when I'm it. when I'm leading it, it's kind of my job to be past that part, mm. right? Is my job. No, and, and it's so still, well. Absolutely. Even, even when stuff is when stuff is pretty difficult, I still might That's I still true. might be there just to give me confidence that I'm, it's going to be there. Yeah. But um, you know, I I think that people often go, "Are you just thinking about this all the time?" And it's like, well, not anymore. Right. You get I to a point. To. Yeah, yeah, I used to all yeah. the time. Absolutely, man. This is so good. It's just a masterclass of of singing of really really good singing
So I, I love what is happening because like we talked about before, this is, you know, this is all ad lib. This is all spontaneous. This is call and response. This is stuff that is happening in the moment that sure he's practiced in the sense that like he's done it before, sure. I'm sure. But I still feel like what's cool about this is their integrity vocally is, exi- is still exists, yeah. right? They're still singing well when they're doing ad libs. They're still singing well when they're doing call and response. It can get a little bit more emotional sometimes when you feel him get kind of growly and you hear a little bit more of that in his voice, but I still feel like there's good singing happening. And I think that's because they're just using their instrument. I can't say that enough. Like they treat their voice as an instrument and they're using their instrument. Like that's, that is what's happening here. And I think that's why this is so next level like this seems so next level because it's spontaneous but it's also beautiful and it's also impressive and it's also it's just so powerful i also i i think that chandler is is really leading right right right. he sings and then they sing. like he's he's kind of guiding this whole absolutely whole thing and a lot of especially like larger churches and and you, you know ours we uh we go with a click and mm. you know we we are trying constantly to lead people and get people in there, but that is you know what we're watching here yeah. is like really leading, right? You know everybody else doesn't quite know where we're going, right? You know that's part <laughs> of the part of the reason why I think they have to listen to each other, absolutely. But it's like oh yeah, you know Chandler can take him anywhere he wants to go, mm-hmm. right? And I think that it's 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 just it's quite a wonderful thing. But I think that's also having the confidence to lead well means knowing how how to lead and 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 how you lead is i think an extension of how you use you know your instrument i'm going to keep yeah. saying instrument because that's what we're here talking about we're here talking about how worship leaders are singers and singing is the you know the instrument our voice is the instrument that is the tool that we bring to the table as worship leaders so knowing how to lead effectively and well means knowing how to use our tools it means knowing how to use our instrument and and it sounds so like technical and sure. and lame yeah. to say well, yeah. that you need to like practice singing but it's just i think that that's something that's being missed you well, know we've been talking about this lately we've been kind of fired up about Guitar players have to practice, the drummers have to practice, the bass players have to practice, mm-hmm. the vocalists kind of just show up. Right. And I don't think that's right. And yeah. I think that the people who we, you know, I think a lot of a lot of worship leaders, not mm-hmm. everybody, look up to. Yeah. Um, people like one of my favorites, Chris Brown right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, they've done so much work. Absolutely. Yeah. To to show up, use their instrument, and then go above that, above and beyond that, mm-hmm. just singing into now leading worship. Right. And so that's that's one of my one of my favorite things and what we hope to kind of bring about with this channel is that mm-hmm. you take your voice seriously. Yeah. And you and you want, you know, why not get better? Right. Why don't you want to get better? Right. Why don't, you know, uh guitar players just obsess over oh my their gosh. tone. Yeah. But singers go, well, that's just how I sing. Yeah. That's not true. That's how you sing today. Right. And that's, you know, that might be, is it how you sing or is it just how you habitually sing? Well, and I think also, I think a lot of times, and we talk about this all the time with students, mm. specifically in the worship leading world, thinking that needing voice lessons or needing to improve your voice means that you're not good. And I think that's such a common misunderstanding yeah. because it's all about growing to be the best you can be. And 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 there's a constant like that that's constantly changing. You know, mm. you're going to constantly get better if you're trying to improve. And that post is going to keep moving down further. And I think that as long as we know that we can improve, um, then we're we're really offering our best, which is what we believe is so important yeah. in worship leading. And biblical. And yeah. You know, giving your best. Well, and I think that like what is so hard, I feel like we're so commonly misunderstood when we talk about worship leading on our channel because worship leading is its own thing. It is a very important thing. But but if you look at pastors, if you look at other people who have really large, important roles in the church, um, they're public speakers, right? They study and they know how to speak publicly. They know how to lead people. They're scholars. They they study the Bible. There are things that they do because that's their tool that they bring to their congregation. And I think that 
with worship leading, yes, being a pastor, you know, having pastoral abilities, having biblical authority, all of these things are obviously important. I think what is often overlooked is how important your voice is as a tool for worship leading, which means voice lessons. It yeah. means constantly trying to do better Practice. so that way you can, I mean, it's just, it is so like, um, a part of who we are and what we are mm -hmm. that like we owe it to ourselves a little mm -hmm. bit to get better in that way. So yeah, yeah. I, I feel passionately about it. That's right. <laughs> Love it. Which blanket? Dude, I know what you're no, my, my soft <laughs> Your soft hat's in your room. Oh. Right here? Yeah. All of her vowels. I know. Also that line, that vocal line. I know. If he dress, but it's, it's. If he, you mean, yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's just, it's, it's just so up, up there. And it stays. Yeah. And it's that same thing I was talking about it earlier. It does stay. She starts with air. Mm -hmm. If he dresses a little. She has to, cause like, if, yeah, it's super in a difficult spot. Let me try it. If he dresses a lilies. See, and I started a little heady there. Yeah. If, if he dress. Going, if, I know. If, 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 get it right here. If, if he dresses okay. the lilies. If he dresses the lilies Better. with beauty and splendor, how much more will he clothe you? How much more will he clothe you? It's you're, so hard. You're getting, you're getting if there. If he this, walked. That's so hard. This is Naomi. This is why we need it's to so talk hard. to you. See, we need to talk to you. Well, I think, though, one of the things that we've already discovered is she uses air in a way that is inhuman. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. She uses air in a way that I think is what we always talk about people needing to do. And mm -hmm. obviously, we're here on this journey as well, learning how to do this. Um, her air is preceding her, right? Like her air is what is motivating mm -hmm. and driving her voice and how she sings and and it's like yes we all have different like instruments and ranges you know what I mean like that's that's just our instrument and whatever um but I still think that the way she approaches things I don't want to diminish her ability by saying oh it's just in her range oh no. it's just she no. just sings high because I don't think that's no. true I think that she's Quality. extremely intentional absolutely Quality. yeah and and it's consistency yeah you know I think that when you listen to her one of the most amazing things that we we just can't get enough of is just the consistency. A hundred percent. Yeah. It doesn't matter where she's singing. Mm -mm. It sounds full. It sounds you know clear. It just cuts through the mix. Mm, it's it's just objectively beautiful. And it's present. Yeah. It is so her voice sounds is huge. so present in when she sings in a way that is like this has nothing to do with her. Like oh let's just go listen to Naomi sing. Mm -hmm. It's it's also a presence. Like mm -hmm. it's it's that can be spiritual too. And I think that's why it just le it lends to such great worship leading, right? Yeah. Because she is like she's giving herself to sure. it. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's just 
I have to try it again. It's so hard. What do you what do you suggest? Let go. Okay. All right here. And then air first. If he just is a lily. So if he just hold on. You are listening mm -hmm. and seeing what happens. Okay. Just send it. Send air. If he dresses a lily. If he dresses a lilies with beauty and splendor, how much more will he clothe you? How much more will he clothe you? Are you if he watches over every sparrow? That's so, so hard. What I just did how is how much more will he love you? Sorry, it's hard. It is fair. Uh, I did something I would never do to a student, which is I <laughs> poked her Punched belly. me in the tummy. I didn't punch you. I poked, <laughs> I poked your belly. And it's specifically that lower ab part. Engaging. Where if you engage that, and that's like kind of driving the air up and out. Yeah. Um, it's not push. Yeah. It's just send. It's 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 driving air up and yeah. out. And, and there's a difference between letting it come out and sending it and out. Sending and it I out. thought that you were letting it come mm. out. And then when I poked your belly, you started sending, sending it out. out. Mm. And I bet you, you can hear a difference. Well, and what's cool. Is when She's going to edit this. So I am oh, going to edit sure, this. But sure, what's sure. cool is like, I know this so well. And she goes even higher. So don't you worry. Our father loves you. And like how she navigates this part of her voice. Let's just listen to it. Because it's, it's gorgeous. Crazy. Sorry, I want to talk about how the harmonies again are so complementary mm. to one another. They're not overpowering. They just add to it. Not when she si exactly, and she's singing super freaking high, yeah. and it's just so she's listening, and it's so intentional, and like they're just they're together in that, and it and it adds to it. It doesn't take away from it. <laughs> You know what I mean? According to his power. And it's so light and she's a little bit off mic, but I feel like she just, it truly adds to it. Mm -hmm. And it's, those are small details that they do so well. Mm -hmm. Like they just do it so well. Absolutely.
like how Brandon Lee's just casually chilling in the background. 100%. 100%. <laughs> it's 100%. like the best. 100%. Can you imagine being in that room? Oh my that gosh. just sounds so. Just the energy. So alone. much. Just the energy. Alone. I know. I hope that it is clear to us that we are not hating on worship leaders instead of just like calling to action, like the need to love singing more like and and how singing is so important to what we do and as important as you know the other skills that we're trying to grow we need to grow our voices so that way we can do what we do like so we can do it better you know god deserves it your community deserves it you know it's it's literally serving better yeah and i think everybody else knows that yeah but it's hard with voices because they mm. say you know oh it's just how you're born and right. stuff like that i i just don't i think that there is a you know there's a clear line yeah um when people have worked on it yeah versus people who haven't and i think that whether you're a worship leader or a vocalist or a singer what how whatever you are using your singing for there is a difference between being an instrumentalist and a vocalist because our voice is vulnerable and i think that is um what makes it so unique for us because it's our bodies mm-hmm. like we are offering ourselves when we sing you know we're we're giving ourselves we're not just playing an instrument and pushing buttons and so that adds another layer to worship leading that makes it more vulnerable and but also more special and i think that's why when people do it with such excellence it is so powerful i mean this video has 128 million views and like that that is evident like there's it's so clear why obviously this is a worship you know performance and like it is something bigger but i do still think that the good singing in it plays a large role as to why it's so powerful Mm -hmm. well we hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something and you know just enjoyed watching these incredible worship leaders and musicians do what they do the best we certainly did we love doing this we love um just getting as much as we can on on how to do this better absolutely if you guys happen to be new and you've never seen one of our videos before we hope that you enjoyed it be sure to check out another video of ours we've reacted to maverick city before brandon lake before all of the best ones so be sure to check it out thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time